I hope you're having a great day and I hope you're staying safe at home. Today I want to talk about a simple practice. This has originated in India and for the longest time till date it continues to be used as a very, very powerful tool and a powerful method to help people who have asthma, sinus, rhinitis, constant allergies, ear infections, tinnitus and many other issues, especially congestion, especially in the respiratory area and sinus as well when there's a mucus buildup. What I'm talking about is something we've all heard about, Jalneti. Not many of us use it because we don't know how to do it. And yes, I will be honest with you, if you are gonna do it for the first time, you wanna learn how to do it the right way from a practitioner, an Ayurvedic doctor, or however you want to, but do it the right way. It is powerful. Over the last couple of months, we've noticed a lot of our clients from around the world who have started doing Jalneti for their sinus, for their allergies, and all of them have reported absolutely phenomenal results. So why do we do Jalneti? Jalneti is basically water and a pot, okay? And if you look at videos of this, this is a small pot that you can buy online, you can buy it on Amazon, you get copper pots, you get plastic, of course, we don't want to look at plastic, you get stainless steel, and it's a little pot which has a spout. The end of the spout fits into your nostril. Now you fill this little pot with warm water, lukewarm water, and you can add salt to it as well. So it becomes a saline solution. And then you put one end of the pot into your nose, you tilt your head, and then you pour that water out. Now if you have a stuffed up nose, your nostrils are blocked, you have sinusitis, you'll find that no water comes up from the other side. But as you keep practicing this, you'll find that the moment you put the spout through your nostril and you tilt your head, that water will start to come down, maybe in a few drops from the other nostril and then into a gentle flow. And you know your passageways are now clean. Now this is phenomenal for cleaning out mucus, trap bacteria, pollutants that we constantly breathe in. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, if I ask you right now, are you breathing to your full capacity? Like, or do you feel you have a stuffy nose? Try it right now. Why don't you just take a pause and try it right now. Take a deep breath. Does the air go completely in without any block? Or do you feel even the slightest block or a stuffy nose? There are millions of people who live with a stuffy nose every single day from the time they wake up until they sleep. They've gotten used to it. So you gotta actually do this exercise to see if you have a stuffy nose. And if you do, then definitely Jalneti can definitely help you with this. Jalneti has now been recorded scientifically for and uh, in the Journal of Ayurveda and several other medical publications for its immense benefits when it comes to asthma. Because what happens is in asthma, okay, we know it's a breathing problem, we know it involves the lungs and the respiratory system, but if you also have sinusitis or you have mucus, okay, you don't, you don't have sufficient oxygen reaching your lungs. But when you can clear your nasal passageways by doing Jalneti, you allow more oxygen to reach your lungs. And in a couple of scientific studies, it's all also been listed how people and asthmatics are now completely off their inhalers when they do a Jalneti practice daily. Rhinitis is something else where it's showing amazing benefits. Allergies, okay, a lot of people have allergies that blocks up their nose completely, they get red eyes, they start to get ear infections. So again, trying Jalneti usually has absolutely zero side effects, but again, if you have high blood pressure, do not do it. If you have high blood pressure or when you do Jalneti, if you feel dizzy in your head, do not do it. If you have constant nosebleeds, do not do it. If you've just gone through a nasal surgery, do not do Jalneti until your doctor tells you, you can do it again. If you have cer certain nasal cancers, do not do it at that particular point as well. We spoke about allergies, we spoke about mucus breakdown. If we can break down the mucus, the excess mucus that we have in our passageways, we breathe better. If we breathe better, we allow more oxygen to reach our lungs. We allow more oxygen to reach our lungs. It is better for us in terms of energy, immunity, lowering inflammation, and everything else. Migraines and headaches. People who have constant migraines and headaches, sometimes it's because we have blocked nasal ways. You know, you ever go to an ENT specialist? ENT stands for ear, nose, and throat. Okay, because these are canals that connect everything, the ears, the nose, and the throat, which is why when you have a ear infection, you also check the passageways in your nasal canal and you also check your throat. So if you have constant headaches and migraines and you've tried everything and it doesn't work, maybe it's time for you to take professional advice and start doing Jalneti for a couple of days to see if it gives you relief. 
It also helps with tinnitus. Tinnitus is that ringing sensation in your ears. So you may want to see if Jalneti can help you to reduce the symptoms of that ringing sound in your ears. It also helps you with ear connection, with ear infections. Again, do it under supervision because like I said, the ears, the nose and the throat are all interconnected with one another. Even the vision. Okay, it's been recorded several cases where your vision can actually improve in case you have impaired vision doing Jalneti. Now, there's not too much of science behind this, but a lot of cases recorded scientifically. So you may want to try this. You lose nothing if you're doing it the right way and it's going to improve your vision. You, lo you lose nothing. When you have a sore throat as well, a lot of us gargle with warm water and salt. Even doing Jalneti will remove trapped bacteria and mucus, which if it stays in a long time in your nasal passages, it can get infected and that causes more bacterial infections requiring more antibiotics. So again, like I said, let me repeat the most important point when you do Jalneti. After you finish it, it is very important for you to dry your nostrils. You dry it by doing breathing exercises. So you can inhale, exhale, you can do Kapalbati, which, in, which makes you breathe out very rapidly. So it's like a... That will dry up your nasal passage very, very quickly. Important for you to dry. Do not keep water stuck in your nasal area. So you may want to blow up after that and then pat it dry or do some deep breathing so that you dry it up automatically. Never make the mistake of doing Jalneti and then going into an air-conditioned room or out into the cold if you have not dried up your nostrils the right way. Again, high BP prep patients, be careful, especially if it makes you dizzy. If you have vertigo and all of these problems, make sure you do it, do it under supervision. And if you have nosebleeds, do not do it. It's always best that you learn this. A lot of trained yoga therapists and yoga teachers have been trained on this and they can teach you this process even online or an Ayurvedic doctor. They can teach you this process. Once you learn it, you do it. it it's one of the most beautiful feelings when you're able to breathe completely without discomfort. So these are things which have existed in our civilization and our country for years and years. And today I feel that the West is using it more than us and it's a beautiful thing. They're doing it because it's working for them. And we are resorting to more of, you know, the allopathic drugs and the medication, which I have no problem. I have absolutely no problem. Take your allopathic drugs, but there, if there is something that can work naturally for you and can help you get better, why not? Have a great day, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, and breathe deep.